Hello everyone, welcome to Dude Let's Draw. I'm Jen Yoko, and today I'll be teaching you how to get started in Clip Studio Paint. Let's draw. For those of you who don't know, Clip Studio Paint is a powerful digital art program that can be used on your tablet, iPad, and PC. This program was made with love just for artists. More professionals keep dumping Photoshop and switching to Clip Studio Paint for animation, comic book development, concept art, and basically anything art related. Before we start, you could purchase Clip Studio Paint on Amazon or get a digital version, but you could also purchase it directly from the website. Just letting you all know that Clip Studio Paint has a subscription service. However, you can still buy the program as a one-time purchase with their pro version for 50 and your Clip Studio Paint EX for $219, which contains significantly more features, including 3D models to help you with your drawing process, lighting tools, and so much more. If you're a beginner, always start with the bare bone basic. Don't go crazy and purchase the $219 one just in case if you don't like it. But when you go to their website, scroll through and see what options right for you. Also, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. I have so much to show you guys and it really helps and it's free. Woo! To download Clip Studio Paint, go to the official website and click the download button. Now, you could either go to downloads or free trial. If I go to downloads, it's going to give us a free trial anyway. Or you could click the green button. You'll be led to the same exact page and click the one that's right for you. So I'm on Windows, I'm gonna click Windows. If you have a portable device like an iPad or an Android phone, please select one of them. I'm gonna click for Windows. It's gonna immediately download the program and it'll show in your downloads folder. Install it by following the instructions and then we can get started. Once we've installed Clip Studio Paint, open it up and you'll be taken to the main workspace. As you can see, you have many options. I highly recommend that anytime you open up Clip Studio Paint, you log in. This way it acknowledges that if you've purchased Clip Studio Paint, it'll save your key and any artwork that you've drawn here at the top. It will even save it in the cloud for you with 10 gigs of space worth of storage, where can you go wrong? You also get updates of any news of Clip Studio Paint's latest version or contest or tutorials. And on the left hand side here, there are presets here, as well as other services that can assist you on your drawing journey. So let's begin by selecting paint. Let's create a brand new canvas by going file New, there are preset options for comic, webtoon, manga, animation. But for today, we're just gonna do something easy and we'll do a, a thousand by a thousand, leave it at 300 DPI. You can name the file early and just do test. And then click okay to create. And bam, you have it. Woo! Now, to start drawing, select the brush tool from the toolbar. You could select anything here. You have a pen, you have a brush, and a pencil. I personally like using the pen brush, and I'm just gonna make some lines here. And oh no, I'm having a little hard time seeing what's going on on the canvas. So, I'm gonna go to my right hand side here, Right here on the right, you'll see new raster layer. It looks like a little piece of paper with a plus on it. Click it. And what I'm gonna do is just make the background white. I'm gonna go to the bucket tool, click the bucket here on the left hand side, select the white, and then click the canvas. Bam, it's empty, it's nice and white now. I'm gonna make another layer, or actually I'm gonna move the layer that I had before from the bottom and move it on top so we can keep drawing. When you start off using a digital art program, try to draw some lines 
and see what works for you. Even make a little smiley face, you know, maybe a ooh woo face here. Or maybe you want to draw Sonic because you guys love Sonic so much. I know you guys love Sonic. Don't even deny it. The fastest thing alive. And he's pretty awesome. I made him look evil here. Deal with it. You could also resize your brush with using this bracket, which is small, and then this bracket, which is big. Just like in Photoshop. I have a pretty amazing tablet where all I have to do is spin a wheel and it'll make it big and small. And if you can't find any of that, right here on the left-hand side, there is the brush resize tool, the opacity for that brush, and you can even make it a blending brush for when you're coloring stuff in. So I'm gonna make this big, I'm gonna lower the opacity to 50%, and now it has changed. Always check your options anytime you select a different type of brush, and just play around with it. I could click any brush that I want with this brush tool set and see what works for me or what works for you. <laughs> let's talk about switching colors. You saw me change colors before, but let's just say I want to add a blue. Obviously you go here in the left hand corner, click a blue and then paint away. But there's two options here. There's a top color and then a bottom color. If I click the bottom color, select a green, and it's highlighted right now, right? I could just color with the green now. And then I could click blue again, and it's selected here. I could also start coloring in blue. It's really convenient. You could also press X to switch between the colors. That's awesome. And you can get rid of everything in one felt swoop by pressing delete. It won't delete your layer. It'll leave it normally and we can move on to our next segment. Woo! Layers. Now, I briefly talked about layers just to show an example, but layers are a great way to separate different elements of your artwork and make it easier to edit. Now you can make as many layers as you want. You can also adjust the opacity of that layer. So for instance, I'm going to draw another, I'm gonna draw a cute little face here. And I can go make sure it's selected, layer five. I'm gonna lower the opacity. And let's just say I wanted to refine it. I would make a new layer and then, you know, go slowly over it. and give it more detail. This even works for animation. Make sure to label your layers and pay attention to what layer you're drawing on. Here's an example. I'm gonna delete these layers right here in the right hand corner by clicking the trash. Delete selected layers, do you wanna proceed? Yes. I'm gonna press new layer. I'm going to draw a Wario type face. And suppose I wanted to color it in, right? And if I wanted to color it in, I would put the colors at the top and I would probably layer this one sketch layer. And then I would label this one color. And then I would just begin to color the character. I'm gonna probably change brushes here, make his nose red, and oh no, there's white here. What am I gonna do? So what I would also do is get into erasing. I would draw the character, then label it sketch layer at the top, color at the bottom, select the color that I want. I'm gonna give him a red nose. I'm gonna select a paint tool because it covers more of a surface area than the pen and just color in his nose. All right, suppose I color and I go outside the lines, that we can start erasing. The best way to erase, especially if it's fresh and new, is by pressing Command Z or Control Z. But let's just say I can't press Control Z all the way or it goes too far. I would basically color it again press E for erase, 
or select your eraser tool here and just erase all the gobbledygook that you don't need. Just like with the pen tool, you can adjust the size of your eraser with the bracket tool. So this is small and this is big. And remember, if anything is too much, you could just take the eraser tool and just slowly make corrections to your drawing and make it the best that you can. All right, for this last part of the tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to draw Toad from Super Mario. He's super simple and easy to draw, and we'll go over everything I've talked about in this video. Let's go. All right, let's get started drawing Toad. First thing you wanna do, we're gonna create a new file. I'm still gonna use the 1000 by 1000, 300 resolution, click OK. Now, this canvas is clear. And what I want to do is put a white background behind it. So I'm going to select my color, make sure I have a white. I'm going to get the bucket tool and bam, get that bucket on, right? I'm going to color by using a blue and I'm going to select my pencil. My pencil, just the generic one because there's two options here. And Toad is really easy to draw. He's just two circles with more circles. All right, I'm gonna lower, I'm gonna zoom in by pressing Control plus a few times. Hold down space bar and move around. I'm gonna lower my pencil size. I have a little device that will let me lower it. Or remember, you could press the bracket tool. I'm gonna create a new layer on top of it and I'm gonna create my first sketch. So I'm gonna sketch a circle for the face. And I'm gonna put a line down the middle. And since Toad is a mushroom creature, I'm going to add an oval. Actually, I'm gonna put a little line through the top here. And his hair comes in around it. So this way, I'm going to basically draw a U, a U shape. So that way, that circle that we just drew covers his chin to the top of his head. And then, with this cross right here, we're gonna start from this end and loop it, uh, arch it across to the other end. And there we have, and there we have the beginning of Toad. Let's add his eyes in there. I'm gonna add a little line here to indicate his eyes. They're gonna be ovals, long ovals. An oval here and an oval there. He has no nose, so we're gonna make that classic smile. And then we're gonna add a little mouth here. And now I'm gonna add the little circles for his little mushroom hat, which is probably part of his body. Can you imagine him trying to take it off? He would scream. Ooh. All right. And since we're sketching, I'd like for you guys to like just try to get in the practice. I'm gonna zoom in here and name this the sketch layer. Now let's lower the opacity right here in the right hand corner, lower the opacity. We're gonna clean it up, create a new layer. I'm gonna move my booty back over here into the corner. And I'm going to select a pen tool to clean it up. I'm gonna select black. And now I'm gonna outline Toad really quick. So I'm going to add the little U. And then I'm gonna add the top. If you wanna rotate your screen, if you press R, you can rotate and come up with a really good circle. So I'm gonna try to get his head to the best of my ability. I'm gonna do one side here and one side here. You 
you could also, let's just say, oh no, this side is not perfect. I'm gonna press Command Z a couple times. I'm gonna press R again, go back to normal. I'm gonna press B for brush. Oh, sorry, P, uh, that's P for, P, P for pen. I'm gonna go to the ruler tool and I wanna use the symmetrical ruler. So I'm gonna put this down the middle of my face. There. Sometimes it takes a few tries. Now that I'm done using the symmetrical tool, you can click on the layer with the symmetrical ruler, right click, and then click delete ruler. And then we're back to normal. But seeing as I want to continue to finish, I'm going to press Command Z. I'm going to go back in and fix the eyes, get the eyes in there, and then get the mouth. And then complete with the circle. So I'm going to get rid of the ruler tool now. I'm going to delete the ruler. I don't like how this circle is turning out. So what I'm gonna do is press E for erase. Because if I press Command Z, it'll take me back to the symmetry tool again. And then I'm gonna go to the shapes over here, click ellipse, hold down shift with one hand, and then make a perfect circle in the middle. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Then I'm just gonna press eraser again. Just erase it as close as I can. And if you wanna erase faster, select your selection tool, grab the lasso, and grab the lasso, and then select the area that you don't want, press delete, select the area you don't want, press delete. All right, now this is your character. You could do whatever you want with him. So I'm gonna continue and color him in. I'm gonna get rid of the sketch layer now. I'm gonna create a new layer and put the lines directly on the top. Every time I draw in any digital program, I always duplicate my lines in my drawing layer. So when you right click, duplicate your layer. And the reason for this is just in case if you make a mistake, so I'm gonna do extra, I'm gonna type it extra, move this down, hide it, and then I'm gonna make the top one lines, and then the bottom color. And here's the best part about Clip Studio Paint. All I have to do is get the bucket tool and just color it in. It's so easy. It's almost criminal. And you don't have to ruin your lines. So I'm gonna add in his eyes. Actually, I'm gonna make them black. I'm gonna add in the white. I'm gonna add in his mouth, his tongue. And then, so he's not creepy pasta, I'm just gonna add in the little pupil. And then there you have it, you have Toad. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. And keep drawing. Try out Clip Studio Paint for yourself. See if it's right for you. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!